Hi guys, today I'm here with an empties video and something is happening right now that I have never done before in a video. Can we note the lit candle? It looks like I'm about to have like a basic biatch seance right now because I've got like a rose gold skull and a candle lit. But really what's happening is I've got some food in the crock pot and I would rather my house smell like peaches over what I've got going on in the crock pot. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into my empties. Speaking of Bath & Body Works, I've got two items that are empty from there. I also recently did a semi-annual sale haul, so if you'd like to see that, um, I will link to it down below. Their sale goes into July, but I used up their Country Apple Body Cream. I love this scent. I love anything apple-y. It's not super sweet or fake smelling. And then I also used up the Salted Pineapple Punch. This has juicy pineapple and salted star fruit in here, and I really, really like this soap too. I've used up two skincare items. The first is from Michael Todd. It is their Blue Green Algae um, Toner. This is said to be highly moisturizing, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial for all skin types. And I loved this until I met this guy. This is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. I did a whole video actually about both Michael Todd and Paula's Choice. I loved Michael Todd until I met Paula. Um, this stuff is amazing. If you have oily skin, I really, really, like truly, the first time ever have actually actually seen a difference in my skin from using this based on like my oil production. Um, I really feel like it helps to kind of tighten my skin um, throughout the day. It doesn't feel as greasy and as oily, which for me is a huge deal because I do have incredibly oily skin. One thing I will say that kind of sucks about this is it's expensive and it's small. This has um, four fluid ounces in it. This has eight. So this is literally double the size and I think less Price, but I don't see the same results because when I stopped using this I really did notice my skin was produ producing more oil again so I have repurchased this um, but it just sucks how small it is so I don't know I'm kind of on the fence of like if I'm gonna repurchase it forever um, but it is excellent in keeping with skincare, I used up the Yonel H2O Infusion SOS Eye Patches. So these are kind of like little jelly patches that you put under your eyes. And I always, like I have so many different kinds of eye patches and sheet masks and stuff, but for some reason I'm always like, I'm gonna save that for a special occasion. But I go to very few special occasions. Um, so I decided to use these recently. I found them really moisturizing under my eyes. I really do like this skincare brand. Um, I'm using their eye cream for day and for night. Um, I mentioned their eye cream in an empties video a little while back and it is incredibly moisturizing it's a European brand and I really like it then this is super cool um, a fellow blogger here from Toronto named Vieste look I will link to her down below she curates um, Korean skincare um, kind of boxes and she sent me along one of their sheet mask kits I guess so I used this one the other night if you saw on Snapchat. It's the Pearl Essence Mask and I really like this. I feel like it helped to brighten my skin a little bit. My skin has been really bad lately and although it has like acne and stuff on it, I felt like the skin that didn't have acne on it looked much brighter and it looked like it lost a little bit of its dullness, I guess. Um, this is supposed to help tone and rejuvenate your complexion, clear blemishes, minimize pores and reduce redness. And I really, really like it. Um, I'm only kind of just getting into sheet masks. I'm a little bit late to the party on that, but I really like this. For hair care, I used up the Inecto Exquisite Shine Argan Hair Oil. This was gifted to me from my friend Spiffy Kerms over Christmas. I really, really like this. It's a nice light oil. It's not too uh, heavy on your hair. So if your hair isn't as big and curly as mine, I still think you could get away with using just a little bit of that on your ends. Then I used up the Camille Rose Naturals Almond Jai Twisting Butter. I didn't use this as a twisting butter. Um, I tried to do that like twist thing with my hair once and it just looked horrible. So I just kind of use this as a curl cream. This stuff smells so good like cake batter but I have a really hard time finding this. I ordered it from a curly hair website a while back and shipping was crazy expensive so I haven't um, kind of looked into it since but everything I've tried from Camille Rose has been really nice. And then something that always shows up in my empties videos is the uh, Hair Chemist Macadamia Oil Mask. I'm assuming this is supposed to be like the macadamia hair mask that's really, really popular, but I will not spend the big bucks on that. I get this from Sally Beauty Supply and I love it. Um, they have a coconut one too that I tried, but I definitely like the macadamia one the best. Two kind of random empties, but I wanted to mention it um, just because cotton pads and makeup removing wipes are something that I will not spend money on. I refuse. Um, I use these cotton pads from Dollarama. You get a pack of 100 for a dollar. I will go there. I actually just got back from there and purchased like seven or eight of them. So I don't need to worry about picking them up. And they're, I mean, I just can't spend like $10 on Shiseido cotton. Like I, I refuse. 
And then I also just kind of pick up whatever makeup removing wipes are on sale. I'll get the ones, the Kirkland ones from Costco. Recently I bought some unscented baby wipes from Shoppers Drug Mart. Those were like $4 for like 75 of them. Sorry, I've got my window open if you can hear like some things going on out there. Um, but these were ones that I got from Rexall. They are the Hydrating Makeup Remover Cloths. I rarely use these on my actual face. Sometimes I'll use them to like start the makeup removing process or if I'm really, really lazy, I'll use it. But mostly I just use it for like cleaning swatches off my hand or cleaning up my makeup desk because I've got like powder or makeup on it. Um, because I don't really rely on these to take off my makeup, I don't really spend too much time or money picking them out. In my last empties video, I had some brush deaths. I've got more brush deaths. This is the um, Style Master kind of Sigma precision brush dupe. This has started shedding like crazy, so I decided to give that the boot. And then this one, I never really liked this style anyways. Um, this was another one of those brushes. It came in a set of 10 brushes for like $20. I think they're a great deal. Got them on eBay. I will link to them down below. Um, but I have had them for a while. And I think like, I don't know what it is. Since I moved to Toronto, my brushes are starting to die and I don't know if the water in the bathroom is way hotter than when I lived in Newfoundland but anyways brushes are dying on me. Then uh, the Benefit High Beam this was gifted to me from Ashley she decluttered this from her collection from Making Up Ashley and I started to use it but I think she just had it for too long and then I had it for a while and didn't use it and it just smells really bad so I'm not gonna be using that anymore. Um, I mentioned this in a recent products I've hit pan on video. This is the NYX Color Wheel Mosaic. It is totally smashed. I have it taped together so that I could hold on to it for this empties video and then ditch it. Um, I absolutely love this. It is a great bronzer slash contour. If you have deeper skin, it can double as eyeshadows. It's completely matte, super affordable, and I really like it. I actually think I'm going to repurchase it. Um, because I did still have a good bit left, but because I had hit pan on it and then dropped it, um, it is very much dead. And from L'Oreal pro matte foundation I love this sucker so much that I cut it open to scrape out the last bits of foundation um, I've got a full review on this it is a great matte drugstore foundation I'm actually wearing it today I mixed in some of the um, body shop honey bronze drops which I also reviewed um, just to kind of warm it up a little bit but this has like great coverage great lasting power super matte it's an amazing drugstore foundation I also really like the powder and I love the setting spray too and then lastly, one of my favorite mascaras ever, it is the Clarins Truly Waterproof Mascara. This stuff is crazy waterproof, like it is really hard to get off, but it gives you the most beautiful lashes. I've talked about it a whole bunch, posted about it on Instagram, um, because I don't really like wearing false lashes, so this is a mascara that I can lean to when I want my lashes to be gigantic and voluminous and long and black, and it is just like absolutely insane, and I will definitely be picking it up again. So that is everything I've used up as of late. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!